In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Presenter View in PowerPoint 2016. The Presenter View is used very effectively in conjunction with Notes in PowerPoint 2016 by utilizing Notes in each slide. So for that portion of it, please refer to the inserting Notes in a presentation in PowerPoint 2016. So to utilize the Presentation View, you uh, need to go under the Slideshow and then you need to make sure that presenter view has been enabled or is checked. So once you have chosen the, that option, then you need to click on the option here from the beginning and then notice that we have a view here of the current slide. We have a timer as to how long we have been working on this presentation. So if your presentation is going to be only 10 minutes, that's how you can keep track of the time. And then notice you have some other options here, including a pen, for you to annotate on the actual slide. Then here are the controls for you to move from slide to slide. And then uh, notice the notes are here on the right hand slide right below the next slide. So you have a preview of what's coming up and then you have your own notes. Now those notes Remember, you can also uh, resize the font and make it readable or smaller or bigger as you need to make it more readable for your needs. So that's how uh, pretty much the presenter view works in PowerPoint 2016. You can have basically the local computer where you're presenting from as uh, similar to a teleprompter and there's no need to refer to turn your back toward the audience to read whatever is in the slide. Now, in some cases, it might be that um, it, the computer is not displaying the presenter mode and such. Uh, typically, PowerPoint 2016 is actually going to force the computer. And uh, also, unfortunately, it leaves it in that condition. It leaves it as an extended desktop. So to enable or disable the extended desktop after, before the presentation or after the presentation, what you can do is you press Windows key and then P and that will come up with a projector options and you can choose to duplicate it or you can choose to extend the display for using the presenter mode. But once you're done with the presenter mode, you need to press back Windows P to choose a duplicate mode here. It would look like this, Windows key, that's extend for presenting but if you want it mirrored for other functionality and other applications, you want to choose duplicate. So you want to duplicate the screen. 